5.10 for the quarter. 13.48 for the kilo. There were several warm-ups before he got the tyres up to the required temperature to make a serious attempt on the record. He's taken the quarter-mile record, um, the fastest run at 178. Average would be, I would imagine, about 173. Um, the kilo, a little bit less, but he's broken the existing record by a comfortable margin. Driving a three-litre Porsche, which raced in Le Mans in the 70s, Martin Baran actually reached 178 miles an hour on one run. The average was 172.27. The previous best was 168.38 by Vivian Candy on the Carly Grohan Straight. Congratulations, Michael. Thank you. With great courage. Well, not really. I, I, I prefer to have been going a bit faster, but the conditions here this morning with cold, very cold, and a couple of bends getting into them. Uh, not excuses, reasons really. We could have done a bit better, a lot better, otherwise. So if you'd been on a straighter road, perhaps you'd have increased it? Oh, yes. oh yeah. yeah. How did you find it, uh, the car itself performing? The car's fine. The car's great. Um, I've got a little problem with gear, getting gears, but uh, uh, that wouldn't be a problem if I weren't trying to do it on bends. So will you have another go at uh, reaching the 200 miles an hour? Yes. Where? Well, I don't know, when I find a venue. Drive your first fast car. About 23. 23. Yeah. And, and uh, what was the fascination at that, at that point? I was in Canada at the time and I uh, used to watch the, the NASCARs. Oh, yeah. Uh, driving around the ovals. And I, I had a... I won't mention the name of the car. I had a fast American car at the time. And I used to fancy myself out on the ovals. And were you any good at that age, were you? I thought it was. <laughs> yeah, but you've had quite a, an illustrious career since then. Like, I mean, you drove the man how many times? Ten times. Ten times. The record book will say nine, but that's because we didn't qualify the first year we went. And, and did you finish every single time? No, finished three times. Yeah. Won the class in 1985. And is that an extraordinary kind of grueling mentally as well as, as physically of all the races? No, it's not. It's, um, it's a wonderful race. You set yourself up for it, and you're there for a whole week, and you get into the groove. What kind of stuff goes through your brain when you're going round and round? You're just concentrating on what you're doing. You don't have time to kind of daydream or no, nothing no, like that. No, no. Yeah. Now, you set out to break the land speed record this morning, but the conditions were not brilliantly favourable. They weren't. We did manage to scrape by, though. We got it up by about four. I'm not sure if it's four miles an hour or six miles an hour. So you actually you broke it. What, what speed did you do this morning? 100, well, the average speed was either 172 or 174. But we didn't have a long enough run-up, and therefore I was accelerating all the way on through. I don't know what the terminal speed was each time, because it was slow in and fast out. So maybe the terminal speed would have been about 185, 190, to get that average. Now, has this been a kind of ambition of yours for a long time, to hold the Irish land speed record? No. It came to me about uh, two years ago, when I was trying to raise some funds for St. Murdex College. Uh, are, you an old, are you past people to say Muradex? Yes, My dad went to say Muradex. Did he? Yeah. Are you, you're a mailman then, are you? I am, yes. Where, where are you from? Born in Ballina. Born in Ballina. And have you been living out of Ireland for a long time? Yes, I left when I was 17. 17. And is this your, kind of, your first time to come back and try and do something here in terms of, of racing? Uh, no, I've uh, been coming back to try and do business and help my old college a little bit and uh, uh, I, of course I've, I own Mandela Park. You own Mandela Park? I do. I, I bought that specifically just to try and bring it up to an international circuit. And how close are we to having an international circuit in Mandela? Very close. Yeah? Very close. Uh, and do you still, you still race yourself in Mandela? Uh, no, I've never raced. Well, yes, I have. I, I, I did one race in Mandela Park. Uh, the first year I bought the place. I was trying to demonstrate some little sports car and it uh, didn't work. People didn't go for it. The buzz hasn't got, uh, gone away at all, obviously, Martin, has it? I mean, you oh, still no, like I, I'm still, I would still like to be um, racing, but I recognise that at my age, um, I'm not as quick as I was. No. What about the sexual thrill, they say? They say it's a, it's a phallus on four wheels, these race cars. Is there anything of that involved in it when you're going I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great thrill. I, speed, I get a thrill from speed and power, controlling it. Yeah. And have you had any, any crash-ups at all, any bangs? Oh, yes.